Welcome back to Blender Frenzy. I'm Justin and we are continuing to take a look at how to cut our footage using Blender's video sequence editor. And so this time we're going to take a look at another editing workflow to see some of the other ones. Go ahead and uh, check out some of the other videos that I've made. But this one, um, again, if you just want to box select all of them or you can press A to select all or Alt A to deselect all or double A to deselect all. So let's select all of them, which is only two. And by the way, this is our video. This is our audio, as you can see. And I'm not going through all of the controls and the, the, the shortcuts and the navigation. If you want to know more about that, go check out some of my other videos. But this is just going to be for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to select all of them. And so this is the second workflow. And this is based off of the first workflow. But this is in case you want to keep some of that footage. So the first thing I'm going to do is find out where I want my first cut. So let's say I want to keep all of this stuff till about here and then I want to cut. Well to make my first cut make sure you hover your mouse over on this side and press K to cut and that means these two will still autom automatically be selected. So let's say I want to cut out all the way till about right here and again this is completely arbitrary but this time instead of my mouse being on this side of the playhead, uh, I'm gonna hover it over here and press K. And now everything over here stays selected. Now in the previous workflow that I showed, I would just press X to erase strips and select the erase strips, and then it would just be gone. And I would just keep moving on and continuing to do that. Uh, but this is if you wanna actually still keep this within the video. So I'm gonna undo that. And then instead of deleting them, uh, I'm going to hide them and then grab them and move them either up or down on the Y axis. So you can press Y to constrain them so they don't move to the left or the right. And you can make them go up or down. I have enough space down beneath that I'm just going to do that. Because I've, I've already uh, dragged these up to, you can see I'm like on an 8 or 9, the channel here. And I like doing that just for this purpose so that I have room to put things below and above, and just in general to navigate a little bit better. So then you would just keep going. So let's say uh, the next cut I want to make is here. Then you do K, and I want to cut just this portion out, let's just say right here, uh, and hover my mouse over here, K, H to hide, G to grab on the Y, and move it down to. And then I would just keep doing that for however many things I want to cut out. Let's say I want to cut out this part from here. Select those. K to right here. Let's say I want to come in right here. K H to hide, G to grab on the Y down. And I'll show you why I'm moving these down. You don't have to move them. You just do cut and then hide. I would definitely at least hide them because then you don't, once you're done cutting, then when you zoom out, you're like, oh wait, so I see all these cuts, but I don't know which ones I'm keeping or which ones I'm wanting to get rid of. So uh, so that's at least hide them so that you can kind of see that because they're shaded. Um, but I'll show you why in a second here that I'm moving them down. So let's keep going just a little bit. Okay. Take this out here, K, H, G, Y, down. And so when you when you start getting used to it, you can like go re get really fast at it. So K and, oh, let's cut out all of that. That's dumb. Ham. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying there. Okay, cut, H, Y, nope. <laughs> I don't want to separate the images. G, Y, down. Okay, so the reason I'm uh, putting these at the bottom is because, let's say, all of the stuff that I still have visible, I want to keep. Um, let's undo that. Um, but this stuff, maybe I want to move to a different spot. Maybe I want to move at the end to make some outtakes, or maybe I still am like, well, maybe I want to keep that, maybe I don't. So this is another thing you can do so that you can still see like where it falls in the um, in the scope of things. Um, 
And then what I would what I would recommend to do is uh, come up here and create a copy of the scene. So come up here, copy, and do full copy. So now I have 0 0.001 at the end of workflow two, which means it's a copy, which means I can go back to the original. And then now I can um, box select these and either delete them when I'm satisfied, or let's undo that. I can just take these and move these to the end. And now moving my playhead over all the way to the left, just start backspacing. And then here's what I'm keeping. And then um, here is what, let's move this up a little bit. Here is what, ooh, ooh, let's uh, undo that. Uh, put the playhead here because anytime you backspace, the, the gaps are gonna be removed from the right. So nothing will be removed here. So if I just keep this here, backspace, there we go. So then I have all the stuff that I'm keeping and then here are my outtakes right here. So that is another workflow. And uh, go check out the video for workflow one to um, to come in here and I, I kind of show you how to tweak these uh, after you've cut. You kind of can tweak each of your cuts a little bit better, um, but that is on workflow one.